What's up everyone? In this issue of Platinum Tech, we compare the rear wheel drive RB blocks and see how the little RB20 goes against its big brothers. After our last RB block comparison video, which you should check out now if you haven't already, it focused mostly on GTR options for RB builds. We've put together a rear wheel drive RB comparison video as so many of you wanted to check out the RB20 and the RB25 Neo. Now first up, let's get one thing clear. The RB25 and RB25 Neo have the same engine block code. The differences between those engines is to do with internals and to do with a different head. But the block itself is exactly the same. This explains why most of the RB25 stock bottom end builds are based off an RB25 Neo, the stronger rods and the better flowing head. Now, we've all heard the rumours that an RB20 can take an absolute thrashing, bounced off the limiter all day, belted as a drift car and never breaks. So, we decided to do our tests on the RB20 block to see if any of those rumours can be substantiated with fact. First up, looking at its design, you can see that the RB25 and 26 which came from it are based on it, as they look the same, they're the same length and they have the same bore spacing. The water pumps and oil pumps in most parts simply swap over from the RB20 to 25, 26 and 30. The difference that you can see is in the bore size. It's much smaller at 78 millimetres. That's 8 millimetres smaller than the RB25, 26 and 30. It only has a slightly smaller stroke though at 69.7. So the bore to stroke ratio suits high RPM. Hence, why they probably survive a lot of abuse in drift cars. With a smaller bore, one could potentially expect a thicker cylinder wall. Is an RB25 just a bored out RB20? Only the measurements will tell us. Now we're about ready to test our two wheel drive RB variants. And I know everyone's really excited to get the results up on screen of this RB20, so we're going to leave it to the end and just twist the knife a little bit. RB30, let's go. We're going to do some quick bore testing here. Okay, thinnest part of that bore there. I'm going to call it 4.6. Looks like we've got a thin bore here. 3.03, it's quite thin there, borderline. Five point three. We're happy to run with five. We're going to call that five point oh nine. Ready to test the RB twenty five. Got 5.1 on the front there, about 5 mil there, 5.1, 5.2 is pretty consistent this bore, let's check the back, 3.57, okay, 3.55, right, pretty good block for an RB25, it's above average, fairly consistent bores throughout, not too thin on the back face there. Ready for our RB20 test now. So the question is, do we have a lot more water, gallery, volume in there behind the balls or are the balls thicker? Or are they thinner because it's the little underdog that no one cares about? Let's have a look. One way to find out. This is actually the first RB20 I've ever tested and we're only doing it because we've been asked so many times. We got five mil, 5.2 up top, off to a pretty good start. 5.3, 5.5 on that face. Let's try the back one. Usually pretty thin, it was thin on this RB30. 4.8 mil, 4.9 up the top. Pretty impressive ball so far. 
If we got five or so mil on this wall, I'd be pretty happy. 5.2, 5.1, .2. 5 it's pretty consistent. This is a pretty good bore. I mean, we've got an average of five mil, which is more than your uh, 25, 26, it's more than your 30. It's what's surprising to me is between the cylinders, we usually have three to four mil on our other RB engines, and this one's five. So we've got heaps of thickness there. It's, it's at least an extra mil on average between the bores, which is really impressive. Okay, we're gonna go straight into deck thickness now, comparing all these RBs. 7.7, .7. try another spot, 7.6, 7.7. .7. We're going to go over to our RB25, which we've had a look at previously. It was a little bit thin on the deck. 6.2, 6.5. So we're probably 0.8 to a mil under on this one. And usually uh, they're a bit thicker there. So I think that one's just got a slightly thinner deck for some reason, some sort of casting issue. Let's do the RB20. 7.4, 7.4, 7 mil. We're consistent with our average two-wheel drive RB. Okay, time to compare hardness on the RB30, the 25 and the 20. We're gonna start off with the 30. We know they're usually harder. They average around 260 on our Brunel testing equipment here. 270 off the bat, 276, 275. This is a beauty. 272, 271, 273, above average. That's a, that's a good block. That's, uh, I'm impressed, it's quite hard. Okay, let's go to the RB25. 242, 245, 56, 43, 45. 246, RB20. You can hear it's good already, 255, 261, 257, 259, 264. 259, that's unheard of in the RV 25, 26 series engines. This might be a, a unicorn. This block's owned by Triple S, so um, thanks for lending it, and I'm sure you're gonna get lots of calls because uh, there should be people fighting over this block, it's awesome. Time to weigh all these rear wheel drive blocks, 30, 25, 20. I'd imagine they're all gonna weigh within a kilo or two. So let's find out. 69 kilograms. Now we're gonna test our RB25. See what that weighs. 67 kilograms. Last one's our RB20. 64 kilograms. So she's a few kilograms lighter. There you go. Our test results for the RB20 were quite impressive. Same bore spacing and a smaller bore size did end up giving thicker bores. Not on the thrust and opposing side though, but where the RB needs it most, between the cylinders. The average RB25, 26 or 30 has between three and four millimetres bore thickness between cylinders, while the RB20 had five millimetres. This RB20 also seemed to suffer less from core shift and had more consistent bore thickness across all the cylinders. This means that the RB20 has more water gallery volume inside the block, which could lead to better cooling and the ability to cop more abuse. The downside of an RB20 block is simply capacity. If you bore it out to 84 millimetres to be a 2.4 litre, then the bores would now only be two millimetres thick and prone to breaking worse than RBs, which defeats the purpose of using an RB20 for its strength. The hardness test was also impressive, being more on par with an RB30 block rather than the softer RB25 and 26 blocks. So there is merit in the rumour that the RB20 can cop more abuse than its bigger brothers, and it is a tough little engine.